Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. You can connect with me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as my website at pippinings.com where you can get your ready row, let's go t-shirt. So I am going to be putting a vent, a couple of vents in my RV bins. And you may want to put vents in your bins. Like uh, for example, if you've got your inverter in a small bin, that needs a lot of uh, ventilation. I am going to be using my ventilation because I've got my batteries charging in there as well as my inverter. And it just so happens that these two bins are connected and this bin goes all the way through to the other side to another bin. So on that side, I'll put a vent. I'll put a vent here for my batteries and then a vent there to try to create some cross ventilation from this one and the one on the other side. So I've never done this before and uh, like a lot of things and I'm just going to uh, use my uh, step my step bit because it's pretty powerful when it goes through metal. Um, I've got metal on the inside there's wood in between here and then this is a thin uh, fiberglass so it should be pretty quick so I'm gonna bit put a hole and that's just gonna be my pilot hole and uh, to use my oscillator to get the rest out. All right, so that went in really quick, and I didn't know there was a ton of styrofoam in there, but there is, it doesn't matter. And anyway, so I'm gonna open this, and I'm going to, this is the vent that I'm putting in. I'm going to put it here and draw my circle so that I can use my oscillator to cut it out a little more precisely. Logic tells me that I probably need to seal in here because even though I'm putting something in and it's got a rim around it, certainly there's going to be water that will get in there. So I'm just going to use some caulking and uh, seal it up. And then while that dries, I'll go ahead and I'll start my hole on the other, other bin door. All right, so I got that hole done and uh, this probably isn't fully dry, but it might not be a bad thing if it gets on this too. So, I'm gonna try it out. I put it in from this side to test, and you know, by kind of manipulating it, I got it in. So I'm hoping this side is gonna be just as easy. I think just for a little bit extra protection, I'm gonna put some caulking around the edge too. Why not? Now for the little bit of manipulating. All right, now I'm just gonna put some screws in because it's got some screw holes. And now I just pop the, the face on. Cool. So the great thing about these ones is I can turn it so they naturally have a, uh, a downward a downward slope on these outer fins and then I can even open or close the inside. So like when I'm driving and it's raining for example, I can keep it close. However, I'm not totally done. I got two more things to do. One of those remaining things is uh, dealing with the inside of this. So if I leave it like this, it's uh, pretty susceptible for bugs to easily crawl in, not to mention mice. So I'm gonna put, I got this fly screen, I'm just gonna put it on. And instead of messing around with like caulking and trying to get this, I'm just using a, uh, a rubber band from broccoli. <laughs> Actually, I think it's from asparagus. Easy peasy. This one on the other hand, however, is, oh, I'm bleeding, is actually connecting to this vent that's on my um, battery reinforcement box. So I have this, this uh, duct stuff from uh, 
dryer vents and I'm gonna have to cut it but I'll put it here and then bring it out here and to hold this on I've got some uh, some of these rings Well, that was a fun and pretty quick project. And I got this one all ready. It's got its hose up and closes and I can change that. And then there's this one with its fly mask. So I'm all set to send charge to my batteries now that I've got a little bit of ventilation going outside. I will also add another vent on the other side of the RV to help with this one going through. So if you found any value or entertainment or anything in this video please give it a thumbs up leave an awesome comment and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and check out other videos ranging in topics from rv living rv renovations rv maintenance rv solar and other pippinings thanks so much for watching